The Johns Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center's Live Well series gets breast cancer survivors and their families moving. Fun, easy routines demonstrated by Shauna Harrison, certified Under Armour trainer, and survivors like you. Modified options for every fitness level, body type, and treatment stage. Enjoy these exercises and strengthen your body, mind, and spirit. Now let's get going. Hi, I'm Shauna Harrison, Under Armour trainer, and I'm here with Grace and Sarah, who are both breast cancer survivors. Today, we are going to do a upper body release using yoga. So we, if you've done any kind of upper body weight, weight training, strength training without weights, um, we're gonna do a release of that. It also is very helpful if you tend to sort of carry your tension in your upper body. So we're gonna start in a child's pose. So when you're ready, we're gonna come down, sit your hips back towards your heels, extend your hands all the way out. We're gonna drop down onto that forehead. So we're just gonna let the body relax here. So this is also a resting pose, right? So even though they're sort of lengthening out their arms right now, this is a resting pose. So if at any point you need to take a rest, this is where you come, child's pose, right? Whether it's this class or any yoga class, really. All right. So take one more inhale. And then we'll walk ourselves up onto our hands, onto all fours. So we're gonna release the wrist a little bit. So what, we, what we're gonna do is take your right hand, flip your wrist back. So most of the weight is gonna be my left hand, it's in my legs right now. Make a fist and then release. Make a fist and then release, good. So we're just sort of releasing the wrist in a position, you know, we text, we type, we do all these things. Um, we wanna kinda of release those wrists a little bit because they get really tight. One more time. Good, and then we're gonna flip that back. Take that left hand, do the same thing. And this, honestly, releasing the wrist could be an entire class by itself. So we're just gonna do a few things here. Good, and if you feel like you do want more intensity, you're welcome to sit your hips back, but it, again, it becomes pretty intense. So keeping those hips stacked on top of the knees is perfect. Last one. Good, and then we'll come back. And now we're gonna take the hands and flip the right hand so that the wrist comes forward. Yep, so flip it all the way around. Again, you can stay here. If you want a little bit more, you can always sit those hips back. You'll feel it right away, I'm sure. Especially if you type a lot. And we're doing one at a time. You can do both at the same time, but it's fairly intense on those wrists. We'll flip it, switch to the other side. Just making sure you breathe throughout this whole thing. Good, and then flip it back. So now we're back onto all fours. We're gonna take our right arm, extend it out to the right side, and we're gonna thread it underneath. So we're gonna drop down onto the right side of the body, letting that shoulder release a little bit. Your left hand can stay right where it is. Grace and Sarah are gonna stay right there. If you want a little bit more, you can extend that left hand forward. You can also take that left hand straight up towards the ceiling and open up a little bit more here. It's up to you. Any of those variations work. And then we'll bring that left hand right next to your face again, right from where it came from. Press down through the left hand. Slide that right hand out. Bring that right hand down and we'll do the other side. So take that left arm out to the side. Thread it underneath. Drop down onto the uh, left side of the body. Whatever option you took on that first side, if you took one, go ahead and do that now. Beautiful, bring your right hand back if you had it out in front of you. Press down through that right hand, slide that left hand out and come back to that all fours position. All right, so now we're gonna drop down onto the forearms. And we want those shoulders to stack on top of those um, elbows and you want your wrists to be in line with your elbows as well. We wanna spread the fingers and get a nice strong base here. So we've done forearm planks before, correct? So we're gonna curl the toes under and come into a dolphin pose, which is essentially downward dog on the forearms. So you curl your toes under and you press your hips up and back. Be careful here that we don't start to slide those elbows apart. You wanna keep those elbows pulling in, and in fact, actually feel like we're pulling them in even if they're not touching, they're coming towards each other. So it's a good stretch on the lower body, but it is a pretty big stretch on the upper body as well. So pressing those hands down, if it's too much, 
You can just drop down and keep it on your knees if you need to. Couple more breaths here. Good, and if you have your knees off the ground, we're gonna drop those knees down. Everyone's gonna walk back up on to their hands, and then we're gonna press back to that downward facing dog. So downward dog eventually becomes like a resting pose, but you are actually doing quite a bit of work in that upper body. So we're, we're doing a little combination of working the arms and also releasing the arms at the same time. So we're gonna spread those fingers nice and wide, press those hands down. It's underneath the thumb and that first finger that we tend to sort of cup the hands. It's, a lot of people do it. So just really putting a lot of attention there so that we actually press the entire hand. And then from there, Sarah's got her hips up perfectly. We wanna take those heels back towards the ground and try to relax through those shoulder blades a little bit. Yes, nice. So we wanna feel like we're pressing the hands down and pulling them apart at the same time. And at the same, at, and while all of that is happening, we're hugging the biceps in as well. So there's a lot of action happening in that upper body. It's not just, you're not just resting and throwing your body into this position. Good, take one more inhale. Awesome. And then as we exhale, we're gonna step our right foot forward. So if when you step your foot forward, it doesn't come all the way forward, just inch it forward so that you get it right underneath your, your knee. We're gonna keep our back toes curled under, so we're gonna come into a crescent lunge. So lift yourself all the way up. We're gonna start with those hands up above the head, and then we're gonna go into a little bit of a shoulder opener here. So the palms are gonna to come together, and we're gonna to try to bring those elbows together right out in front of us. Okay, so if they don't actually touch, you're just going in that direction. If you can get them to touch, great. So we're opening through those shoulder blades as much as we can. Relax those shoulder blades down, yeah? Yes, beautiful. Nice. Good, one more inhale. And then as you exhale, we're gonna turn your back toes almost all the way out this time. We're gonna come into a warrior two. So my back toes are very barely turned in towards the center. So we wanna make sure that they're not turned out, right? They're turned in just slightly. The hip is gonna go in that same direction. My upper body though is gonna to face towards the side. My head is gonna to turn to look forward. Extend your arms all the way up. Head looks over those front toes, the front toes, over those front fingers, bend that front knee. And we're gonna take that knee and bring it out back behind us to open the thigh. There you go, beautiful. So this is a nice strong warrior two. These are the typical arms we do with warrior two. We're gonna change those arms just a tiny bit. So we're gonna come back to what we had, right, with the palms and the elbows together. So stay in your warrior two, just bring your hands together like that. Yes, you got it. Lower body doesn't change. All I'm gonna have Grace do is turn her entire upper body to her left side a little bit. Yeah, nice. Good, keep this knee nice and strong. Yes, good, breathe. Mm -hmm. So we're relaxing those shoulders. We're getting a little extra stretch out of that right side as we continue to twist through that upper body. You got it, beautiful. Looking good, we got one more inhale. And then we're gonna exhale, unwind back to the front. This time you're gonna pivot on those back toes. We're gonna step all the way up and bring that left foot right to the ankle of the right foot. So toes all the way against, all right? So like you're gonna balance. So coming into a tree pose, right? Level one here, you can bring it up to the shin, you can bring it all the way up to the thigh if you'd like, just not right on the knee. We don't wanna put any pressure on the knee because we're gonna to try to press that foot into the leg, press the leg into the foot, right? You don't wanna do that on your knee. So we engage that standing leg, we press that bottom foot in, and then we're gonna take our hands back behind us, interlace those fingers, and try to open your chest here. If that doesn't work, you can grab for opposite elbows. If that still doesn't work, grab for your hips, right? Any of those options are great. Just opening that chest. Good, trying to stand as tall as we can. Nice, so even if we have the foot down here, we're still gonna try to open that knee out to the side a little bit. Keep the foot all the way against the ankle. Full foot against the ankle. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. Good, one more inhale. And then as we exhale, we're just gonna bring that knee in towards our chest, set the foot down. We're gonna to try to keep the hands in this position, whichever position you're in right now. Take an inhale, open the chest. And then as you exhale, we're just gonna release those hands, come down towards the ground, bend your knees, grab for opposite elbow, and just sway from side to side. Just let your upper body release. 
Yeah. So try to relax the head. That's the thing that we always try to hold up all the time. So that's really where we, when we're down like this, just let it release as much as you can. And then we'll bend the knees a little bit more to get those hands down onto the ground. Step back to your downward dog. And we're gonna go to the other side. So we'll step the left foot forward, coming up into our crescent lunge, lift all the way up. Nice. Bring those palms together, bring those elbows together, right down out in front of you. Let those shoulder blades come down, let the back open up. Beautiful, guys. One more inhale here. And then we turn those back toes so we come into that warrior two. Remember those back toes are turning in just slightly towards the center, right? So we want those toes to be towards the center. Yes, the hips, that back hip is also gonna come towards the center a little bit, but your upper body is gonna stay right there. Yes, turn and look over your left hand. You got it. So watch this front knee. We all have a tendency to let that knee kind of fall in towards the center because our inner thighs tend to be pretty tight. So we're gonna open up a little bit and bend that knee just a tiny bit more. Front knees, front toes are facing straight ahead. Good, now bring those hands and those elbows back together right out in front of us. Nice, nothing in her lower body is gonna change. She's gonna to twist towards the right side. Yes. So maybe that twist is just a little tiny twist, perfect. Maybe you can twist a little bit more, that's fine. You don't need to. Good, <laughs> relax your shoulder blades down. Just keep that upper body, that core especially, center while you're turning towards the side, right? So what we don't wanna do is take that whole upper body with us. It's just from the core up, yeah. Good, one more inhale. And then we're gonna unwind back to the front. We're gonna turn those back toes. We'll step our way up. Again, whichever position you want with your feet for the tree pose, they can be down on the ankle, can be on that calf, or you can come all the way up into the thigh. Pressing that foot into the leg, pressing the leg into the foot, that helps us get a little bit taller. Hands are gonna interlace back behind us, knee opens up. Options for those arms, whatever you need, you can grasp. You can take opposite elbow, hands to your hips. If you're taking hands to your hips, don't just kind of stand here with your hands to your hips though. Draw those shoulder blades down. See if you can pull those elbows back a little bit and really open the chest. Good, last inhale. And then as we exhale, we're gonna bring that knee in towards us. Set that foot down onto the floor. Take an inhale, open that chest one more time. And without snapping, we gently release those hands down. Bend your knees, come down towards the ground. We'll step back to a downward facing dog. You can pedal out your feet a little bit here, shake your head out. Make sure you're pressing those hands down and forward. And then we'll drop down onto the knees. Let's go ahead and swing our feet around. We're gonna come to a reverse plank position or a reverse tabletop position. So we want those feet to be facing straight ahead. We uh, make sure you're not starting to turn your toes and your ankles out. Bring your hands back behind you. If this isn't gonna work for you, you can come to a bridge pose. Otherwise, we're gonna press down through the feet, press down through the hands, lift up so we're in a reverse tabletop. If you're Feeling pretty strong, you can always try a reverse, a reverse plank, which the feet go straight out in front of you. But reverse tabletop works just as great. So let those shoulder blades open up, let that chest open, keep those feet pressing down. Big inhales, big exhales. One more inhale. And then we'll exhale. Set those hips down if they're not already down. We're gonna cross our legs, sit up nice and tall. Perfect. We're gonna take that right hand, reach it all the way up. We're gonna take that hand back behind us and then grab for that right elbow. A little tricep stretch here. If you're pretty flexible, you can take that left hand back behind you and reach for those Gomukhasana arms if you'd like. So the bottom hand reaches the top hand. <clears throat> and you can grab for your fingers here and you just wanna use that head to sort of open up so we don't collapse down. Good, and then we'll gently release. Take that left hand up, let that left hand drop down behind your back as you bend the elbow. Option if you want it, or you can grab for that elbow and release down. 
Just relax your shoulders as much as you can, sit up tall. Good, last inhale. Nice, and then release. Last thing we're gonna do is little cactus arms here. So let those elbows be in line with your shoulders. Holding those hands up nice and high, and then we're gonna pull those elbows back. Just a little bit towards the back of the room, back of your mat. Good, big inhale. Exhale, elbows back just a tiny bit more. And then we'll inhale those hands all the way up. Exhale, just fold forward from here. Let your hands drop down, let your elbows bend, let your head hang, just let everything release. You can shake your head yes and no. And then walk yourself all the way back up. Sit up nice and tall. Awesome work, you guys. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us.